It is an industry that provides hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to civic clubs in the mid-state, but critics say it is flat-out animal cruelty. As folks in Shelbyville gear up for the town's annual Tennessee Walking Horse celebration, a new bill in Congress could drastically change what the Tennessee walking horse industry looks like. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb is in Shelbyville where the celebration is underway, Jason. Yeah, that's right, Carrie. And this has been a huge debate in this town for years. And folks here will tell you either one of two things are at risk. One being hundreds of thousands of dollars of charitable money. The other potentially the health and safety of the Tennessee walking horses. Now at issue are weighted hoof pads and bracelets known as action devices that some trainers use to give the Tennessee walking horses their exaggerated gait in competitions like the celebration now being held here in Shelbyville. The U.S. Senate is currently looking at a bill that would ban those devices. Now, most of those in the walking horse industry are against the bill, saying it would cripple the walking horse industry that donates hundreds of dollars each year to local civic groups. They say if the devices are used properly, they do not hurt the horses. Two scientific studies have proven definitively that the weighted shoe and the action devices, as today, legally today, uh, do not harm the horse in any way, shape, or form. That is why the shoes and the action devices are allowed to the spe specifications that we currently use. But those in favor of the bill say action devices do hurt horses and contribute to a practice called soaring. If the horse has not been soared, they don't learn the gait. It's, it's the American Veterinary Medical Association is firmly against this. The American Horse Council, which represents all the breeds, will not let the walk, Tennessee walking horse breed be a member because of what you just described, pads and chains. It's an addiction, got to go cold turkey. Now, both of Tennessee's senators are supporting an alternative to this bill in the Senate right here as the biggest event of the year in Bedford County is underway the celebration. Live here in Bedford County, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5.